U.S. Department of Justice. Attorney work product may contain material protected under Federal Rules of Criminal Procedure, Section 6C. 1. Press reports allege links between the Trump campaign and Russia. On June 16, 2015, Donald J. Trump declared his intent to seek nomination as the Republican candidate for president. 9. 9. At Real Donald Trump, 6, 16, 15, 11, 57 a.m. Eastern Time, tweet. By early 2016, he distinguished himself among Republican candidates by speaking of closer ties with Russia, saying he would get along well with Russian President Vladimir Putin, questioning whether the NATO alliance was obsolete and praising Putin as a strong leader. 10. 10. CEG Meet the Press Interview with Donald J. Trump, NBC, December 20th, 2015. Trump, I think it would be a positive thing if Russia and the United States actually got along. Presidential Candidate Donald Trump News Conference, Hanahan, South Carolina, C-SPAN, February 15th, 2016. You want to make a good deal for the country? You, got, you want to deal with Russia. 11, 11, CEG Anderson Cooper, 360 degrees, CNN, July 8th, 2015, I think I get along well with Putin, fine. Andrew Rafferty, Trump says he would get along very well with Putin, NBC, July 30th, 2015, quoting Trump as saying, I think I would get along very well with Vladimir Putin. 12, 12, CEG at Real Donald Trump tweet 3:24:16:7:47 a.m. Eastern Time at Real Donald Donald Trump tweet 3:24:16:7:59 a.m. Eastern Time 13:13 13, 13. CEG Meet the Press interview with Donald J Trump NBC December 20th 2015 Putin is a strong leader. What am I going to say? He's a weak leader. He's making mincemeat out of our president. Donald Trump campaign rally in Vandalia, Ohio. C-SPAN, March 12, 2016. I said Putin was a strong leader, which he is. I mean, he might be bad, he might be good, but he's a strong leader. The press reported that Russian political and, and analysts and commentators perceived Trump as favorable to Russia. 14. 14. C.E.G. Andrew Osborne from Russia with Love. Why the Kremlin Backs Trump. Reuters. March 24th, 2016. Robert Zubrin. Trump. The Kremlin's Candidate. National Review. April 4th, 2016. Beginning in February 2016 and continuing through the summer, the media reported that several Trump campaign advisors appeared to have ties to Russia. For example, the press reported that campaign advisor Michael Flynn was seated next to Vladimir Putin at an RT gala in Moscow in December 2015, and that Flynn had appeared regularly on RT as an analyst. 15. 15. CEG Mark Hosenball and Steve Holland, Trump being advised by ex-U.S. Lieutenant General who favors closer, closer Russia ties. Reuters. February 26, 2016. Tom Hamburger et al. Inside Trump's financial ties to Russia and his unusual flattery of Vladimir Putin. Washington Post, June 17, 2016. Certain matters pertaining to Flynn are described in Volume 1, Section 4B7, Supra. The press also reported that foreign policy advisor Carter Page had ties to a Russian state-run gas company and that campaign chairman Paul Manafort had done work for the Russian-backed former Ukrainian president Viktor Yan Yan Yanukovych. 16. 16. CEG Zachary Miter, Trump's new Russia advisor, has deep ties to Kremlin's Gazprom. Bloomberg, March 30th, 2016. Julia Ioffe, who is Carter Page, Politico, September 23rd, 2016. Certain matters pertaining to Page are described in Volume 1, Section 4A3, Supra. 
1717. Tracy Wilkinson, in a shift, Republican platform doesn't call for arming Ukraine against Russia, spurring outrage. Los Angeles Times, July 21st, 2016. Josh Rogan, Trump campaign guts GOP's anti-Russia anti stance on Ukraine. Washington Post, July 18th, 2016. In addition, the press raised questions during the Republican National Convention about the Trump campaign's involvement in changing the Republican platform's stance on giving weapons to Ukraine to fight Russian and rebel forces. 18. 18. Josh Rogan, Trump campaign guts GOP's anti-Russia stance on Ukraine. Washington Post Opinions, July 18, 2016. The Republican platform events are described in Volume 1, Section 4A6, Supra. 2. The Trump campaign reacts to WikiLeaks' release of hacked emails. On, Ju on June 14, 2016, a cybersecurity firm that had conducted in-house analysis for the Democratic National Committee, DNC, posted an announcement that Russian government hackers had infiltrated the DNC's computer and obtained access to documents. 19. 19. Bears in the midst. Intrusion into the Democratic National Committee. Crowd strike. June 15, 2016. Post originally appearing on June 14, 2016, according to records of the timing provided by Crowd Strike. Ellen Nakashima, Russian government hackers, penetrated DNC, stole opposition research on Trump. Washington Post, June 14, 2016. On July 22, 2016, the day before the Democratic National Convention, WikiLeaks posted thousands of hacked DNC documents revealing sensitive internal deliberations. 20. 20. Tom Hamburger and Karen Tumulty, WikiLeaks releases thousands of documents about Clinton and internal deliberations, Washington Post, July 22, 2016. Soon thereafter, Hillary Clinton's campaign manager publicly contended that Russia had hacked the DNC emails and arranged their release in order to help candidate Trump. 21, 21. Amber Phillips, Clinton campaign manager, Russians leaked Democrat, Democrats' emails to help Donald Trump. Washington Post, tw July 24th, 2016. On July 26, 2016, the New York Times reported, reported that U.S. intelligence agencies had told the White House they now have high confidence that the Russian government was behind the theft of emails and documents from the Democratic National Committee. 22, 22, David E. Sanger and Eric Schmidt, spy agency consensus grows that Russia hacked DNC, New York Times, tw July 26, 2016. Within the Trump campaign, aides reacted with enthusiasm to reports of the hack. 23. 23. Gates, 4, 10, 18, 302 at 5. Newman, 823, 18, 302 at 1. B6, B7A, B7B, B7C discussed with campaign officials that WikiLeaks would release the hacked material. 24. 24. Gates, 411, 18, 302 at 2 to 3. SM21, 80998. Gates, 1025, 18, 302 at 2. See also Volume 1, Section 3D1, Supra. Some witnesses said that Trump himself discussed the possibility of upcoming releases. B6, B7A, B, C. Michael Cohen, then executive vice president of the Trump Organization and special counsel to Trump, recalled hearing B6, 
B7A, B7B, B7C, B6, B7C3. 25, 25, Cohen, 8, 7, 18, 302 at 8. See also Volume 1, Section 3D1, Supra. According to Cohen, after WikiLeaks' subsequent release of stolen DNC emails on July 22, 2016, Trump said to Cohen words to the effect of B6, B7A, B7B, B7C, B6, B7C3. Cohen, 918-18-302 at 10. Cohen's role in the candidates and later president's activities and his own criminal conduct is described in Volume 2, Section 2K, Infra, and in Volume 1, Section 4A1, Supra. Cohen recalled that Trump responded, oh good, all right, and B6, B7A, B7B, B7C. 26. 26. Cohen, 8718-302 at 8. Manafort said that shortly after WikiLeaks' July 22, 2016 release of hacked documents, he spoke to Trump, B6, B7A, B7B, B7C, B6, B7C3. Manafort recalled that Trump responded that Manafort should B6, B7A, B7B, B7C keep Trump updated, 27, 27, B3, as explained in footnote 197 of volume 1, section 3D1B, Supra, this office has included Manafort's account of these events because it aligns with those of other witnesses and is corroborated to that extent, B3-1. Deputy Campaign Manager Rick Gates said that Manafort was getting pressure about B6, B7A, B, C information and that Manafort instructed Gates, B6, B7A, B7B, B7C, status updates on upcoming releases. 28, 28, Gates, 10, 25, 18, 302 at 4. Around the same time, Gates was with Trump on a trip to an airport, B6, B7A, B7B, B7C. And shortly after the call ended, Trump told Gates that more releases of damaging information would be coming. 29, 29, Gates, 10, 25, 18, 302 at 4. B6, B7A, B7B, B7C were discussed within the campaign and in the summer of 2016, the campaign was planning a communication strategy based on the possible release of Clinton emails by WikiLeaks. 30, 30, Bannon, 118, 19, 302 at 3, 31, 31, Gates, 411, 18, 302 at 1 to 2, SM 2180998, Gates 2518, 302 at 2, messaging strategy was being formed in June-July time frame based on claims by Assange on June 12, 2016, B6, B7A, B7B, B7C, B6, B7C-3. Three, the Trump campaign reacts to allegations that Russia was seeking to aid candidate Trump. In the days that followed WikiLeaks' July 22, 2016 release of hacked DNC emails, the Trump campaign publicly rejected suggestions that Russia was seeking to aid candidate Trump. On July 26, 2016, 
Trump tweeted that it was crazy to suggest that Russia was dealing with Trump and for that record, and that for the record, he had zero investments in Russia. 32. 32. Gates, I'm sorry, 32 at Real Donald Trump, 426.16, 6.47 p.m. Eastern Time tweet. 33. 33. At Real Donald Trump, 6.26.16, 6.50 p.m. Eastern Time tweet. In a press conference the next day, July 27, 2016, Trump characterized this whole thing with Russia as a total deflection and stated that it was far-fetched and ridiculous. 34. 34. Donald Trump News Conference, Doral, Florida. C-SPAN, July 27th, 2016. Trump said that the assertion that Russia had hacked the emails was unproven, but stated that it would give him no pause if Russia had Clinton's emails. 35. 35. Donald Trump News Conference, Doral, Florida. C-SPAN, July 27, 2016. Trump added, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded. 